Hey, shalom to the family at this time. May the peace of y'all be with each and every one of you brothers and sisters. I have to do a very important video at this time to the utmost concerning the uh, third temple. I'm about to read um, chapter 40 to 48. But I'm going to start us off in, in, in the prophet book, Zechariah. Zechariah. At, uh, at this time, I'm reading from the book called The Scriptures. I just want to um, highlight some things for you. Bring some things to your attention before we get into this uh, very very important lesson, brothers and sisters. Yes, we, we're gonna cover some things in our, our, our past history with our ancestors, our brothers and sisters, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna bring it all the way up to the uh, future. See the things uh, um, that our BI planned out for us to do. Yes, it required for us to do a lot of work, brothers and sisters, and they're gonna be done. All those who love y'all will be do this joyfully so right here in chapter 13 if you got your scriptures you read with me your text uh, you can read along with me I was gonna do this in another way where um, you can see me uh, uh, read from word to word but I say you know that takes so much time when I have to look through the monitor so I said for the sake of time I'm, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit but if you got your scripture, you can see it. I'm going to start from time to time because so many things got to be explained to you. Because sometimes people look at these scriptures and they go with their own opinions and own thoughts. But it's not in line with our yacht. Because you got, you got to know these scriptures. I'm telling you to the utmost importance. If you don't know these scriptures, you get part of the story and leave another part out. In which you will lead your own self astray. It's very important, brothers, or, or you have a misunderstanding. These scriptures are very important. We must know them, brothers and sisters. Especially because we're dealing with translation. You must know these scriptures. We must know the time we are living in, brothers and sisters. We gotta uh, we gotta we gotta know um what our ancestors have done. And how they turn from Yah. Brothers and sisters. We got to know about ourselves. When we don't know our, our, our own self, our ancestors, brothers and sisters, it's hard to know you fully. The character that you possess and that was um, passed down upon you, that spirit that dwells in you. Because it's a spirit, a Ruach, not that is not of Yah. And everything must be according to the lines of Yah for us to be pleasing in our eyesight and for him to be pleasing with us. We must take on his ways. We must take on his thoughts. Yes, not our own thoughts. We got to think like him. When it comes down to the, this text, these scriptures, to the law and the prophets, we got to think like him. We can't alter his words. Because when we try to alter his words, we come with our own thoughts. And and we'll tell this is what I think. When it comes down to Abiyah, it should never be this is what I think. We got to know Abiyah said this, brothers and sisters. That's how important it is, brothers. We got to know these things. Because when you don't know what Abiyah said, brothers and sisters, you will cause many to be uh, laid missing straight. So remember that. Um, Zechariah chapter 13, verse 1 reads It said, In that day, Showing us a day coming, a fountain shall be opened for the house of Dawid. See, for the house of Dawid, the seed of Yah, we, we is of Yada. And for the inhabitants of Yashalom, Yashalom is the capital city which people call Jerusalem or Jerusalem. For sin and for uncleanness. See? When you look at this, what it's saying right here, a fountain will be uh, open. Should be open for the house of Dawid and for the inhabitants of Yashalom and for sin and for uncleanness. When you read this and, and when you know uh, what it say in Ezekiel chapter 43, how the atonement is going to be atoned for, brothers and sisters, with animal offerings for sin offerings. And then we will take our, uh, our peace offerings. And Abiyah said he will 
receive us there, brothers and sisters. That's how you tie this in with that, to have that knowledge. See, everything we must do must be done according to knowledge, brothers and sisters. Not because of uh, what we think it's saying. Because it's in the scriptures exactly what it's saying. But you got to know, know how to put it together. And only the um, Ruach of Yah will guide you into this wisdom of Yah, brothers and sisters. For what time period? This is for a time period when we get home, uh, Yah say he's going to remove the sins off his people, the uncleanness. So that's showing all the way until we get home, you will be unclean, brothers and sisters. Even all y'all said for the priest to be clean, the priest of, of, uh, and, and of the sea line of Zedot, that comes through the messenger of Yah. See, everybody, people go into these different organizations and think uh, the, uh, the priest is being clean. No, only the messenger. Can clean the priest of Zadok of the little roof priesthood and, and so they can be reinstalled into their office to carry out their function. These are the words of Yah. Read Malachi Yah and you see this for yourself, brother and sisters. In chapter 3, only by the, uh, the, the, uh, the one, the, the messenger, the Malachim, that will come and refine them. As gold is uh, refined in the fire, and silver, brothers and sisters. So right here, verse two, it says, "And it shall be in that day," declares Yah of hosts, "that I cut off the names of the idols from the earth." You see that? It says, "In that day, in that in that time period, not right now, but in that time period, I'll be all gonna cut off." The names of the idols from the earth, and they shall be remembered no more. And I shall also remove the prophets and the unclean spirits from the earth. You see that? So at this time, we have uh, false prophets in the earth everywhere, and we have those who have unclean spirits. See, the, the unclean spirit. We want to refer to a spirit. We talk about the spirit of knowledge. That oppose Yah. See, because see, everybody have a, a one uh, spirit, the spirit that give life. Uh, Yah put it inside of every individual being and everything that lives have that part portion of life given Ruach, spirit. But it's another one, everybody don't have this knowledge, the knowledge of Yah. See? So in this earth we have at this time. Many ones who pick up these scriptures have what he said, unclean spirit, uh, unclean ruach, the, the knowledge, what is not all of your words. Many of them go before you, even of our nation. So take that to heart. That's very important right there as I'm going to go into of uh, the lesson, I show you the things right there that gonna come. Some things all y'all gonna remove. Even the time when sin gonna be removed. Show you right there in that scripture. If you fully understood that, with if with Zeke, you know nobody never came to die to take away our sins. Two thousand years ago, that's not even the time period. I'll be honest, the time period when we get back home, he gonna remove the uncleanness from us, the sins, right there. Brothers, I'm going to the book on uh, the prophet book Ezekiel at this time. But the real name has a key, y'all. Ezekiel, so the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 44, I'm deal with. Give me a moment, let me get there. If you got your scriptures, it's uh, chapter 44. If you read 43, you'll find you, you that's when you'll see. How our sin is going to be atoned for. And by who? And we must bring the offering, the clean animals. From a sheep or goat of a year old perfect one. Male. To the priest. To be atoned for. To bring forth a peace offering on the eighth day. See, all of this is detailed in there, brothers and sisters. 
I hope y'all don't leave off nothing, brother and sister. This is the knowledge we must have. And this is the knowledge uh, must be uh, carried out, uh, brothers and, and sisters, by the will of y'all. So the 44th chapter, brothers and sisters, give me a moment, give me a moment, give me a, give me a moment real quick. Give me a moment. Give me a quick moment, real quick. I'm doing something. Okay, I'm, I'm back. In, in the 44th chapter, in the 44th chapter of Ezekiel, and that's where we're going to start off at right here, brothers and sisters. It said, And he brought me back into the outer gate of the set apart place which faced east, and it was shut. This time the third temple that going to be rebuilt. I was giving him the vision, showing him what's going to be done. The prophet. See, I showed the prophets all the things that we could talk about now, what going to take place in the future. That's where we get our knowledge from, brothers. So not no knowledge of our own selves. Not no vision or dreams that come from our own selves. But by the wisdom of y'all, brothers and, and, and sisters, So keep that in mind. It's a, and Yah said to me, let me read, I'll skip off the part of verse 1. And he brought me back into out to the outer gates and, I, and, and of the set apart place which sat east, and it was shut. And Yah said to me, This gate is shut, it is not open. And no one enters it because Yah, the Ra of Yashayel Yah, has entered by it. You see that? And it shall be shut. You see, all of this knowledge we must have. Because disobeying Abiyah in one way could get you killed, brothers and sisters, without this knowledge. It said, The prince, as prince, he sat in it. To eat bread before Yah. See, say the prince. Keep that in mind. The prince, the prince, as prince, he shall set and eat bread before Yah. Coming in by way of the porch of the gate, going out the same way. See, so this prince gonna be able to at that time to um to sit in the sit in it to eat bread before Yah. Not everybody, but this prince will come in by the way of the porch and of the gate and going out the same way. And he brought me by the way of the north gate to the front of the house. And I looked and saw the extent of Yah. Fill the house of Yah, be Yah. And fell on my face. You see that? See, that's why I said so important, brothers. Everything will be to a zap. You might think it's not, even to the name that I should have read you. And um, in chapter in, in Zechariah chapter fourteen nine, you could go there. I got to say, in that day also, he gonna be one which a lot of people calling them Elohim, multiples, and all the other, all the other things. He gonna be one. That's why you can do away with all the, um, the idols. That can be written from your mind. And his name is one. Brothers and sisters. Because his name is one now, but many people refer to him at many things. Y'all don't acknowledge that. You think he does, but he don't. I, 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 see, I hear a lot of our brothers and sisters say things in their own thinking. But you can't think for all y'all. I mean, I say, who's sitting in this council? He don't want to give counsel. And he gave his word to the prophets already. We got to learn the words from the prophets. 
Not our own words and be self-proclaimed prophet. Remember how I said you're going to remove the prophets from the earth. I read that to you. All you want to call yourself prophets is going to be removed this day from the earth. Because he already gave his word to the prophets. Even he told Daniel to seal up the book, close the book until the time to end. When the knowledge was going to be given back to his chosen ones. That is responsible, reliable. Everyone that is chosen is not reliable of y'all. A lot of his chosen will turn their backs on y'all even to the day. Don't want to listen to y'all. But they want you to listen to them. And it's right here it says verse 4. And he brought me back of the way of the gate to the front of the house. And I looked and saw the steam of Yah filled the bay Yah. And I fell on my face. And Yah said to me, Son of man, or son of the death. Because that's where we came from. Son of the death, set your heart and see with your ears. I mean, excuse me, set your heart and see with your eyes and hear with your ears. All that I say to you concerning all the laws of Begi Yah. See, the house of Yah. See, all of these laws was given to him. Concerning the third temple that will be built. By Yahshiel Yah. Not by those ones up there now. If they do build a, try to build a temple, it won't be the temple of Yah. Begi Yah. This only comes from the chosen ones of Yah. So let me continue. And the reason is that all that I say to you concerning all the laws of the house of Yah, and all it Torah vessels, and, and you shall set your heart to the entrance of the house with all the exits and the set apart place. And you should say to the rebellious, to the house of Yahshiael Yah, you see that? Why? And we're not even at that point. These words should be said to the rebellious, to the house of Yahshiael Yah, thus saith Barah Yah, who is the creator of Yahshiael Yah, thus saith Barah Yah. O house of Yahshiael Yah, enough of all these abominations of yours. You see that? Because we are the temple to be built, brothers and sisters. And all we are say enough. He said, tell them enough of all your abominations, all your sins you do. Because remember, of Yah, he said he's going to choose, he's going to pick and choose the chosen ones that will go back home. See, everybody is not going home. Many might come to on, on the migration, but many of you will never step foot in that land. Because you do not want to turn from your rebellions to Yah. Not to me. You might look at me and say, I hate you because what I say but you're directing it to Abiyah himself, brothers and sisters. Read right here, verse 7, it said that you brought in some foreign, foreigners, uncircumcised in heart. So he said that you brought in, the God we call it in the time of the past, that you brought in sons of foreigners, uncircumcised in heart, and uncircumcised in flesh. To be in my set apart place to profane it. You see that? So it's saying our ancestors brought in those physically non circumcised, which was a sign of the covenant that we belong to Yah and obedience to Yah as well, and also spiritually brought in uh, 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 foreigners that does not have the root of Yah, the knowledge of Yah. And to a set apart place, which that was forbidden. He said, but this is what our people done to defile the place. So let me read it. 
He said, uh, to be in my set apart place to profane it. Right there, self-explanatory. He said, my house, my bird, may eat. That you brought near my food. The fat and the blood. And you brought, excuse me, and you broke my covenant. Because of all of your abominations. You see that? He said, oh, you did not guard the charge that which is set apart to me. See? See, these are all the things the priests done, brothers and sisters. I'm going to be covering that. It's very important to cover these things so you can see the faults of our ancestors. These are things we should never do again. That's what I'm showing you right there, verse 8. I'm taking my time to show you this. It's saying, you did not guard, see, watch over to protect. You did not keep the order, the charge, that which is set apart to me. See, that which is codestined, RBI. Many start walking in their own ways, their own thoughts, for financially gain. They start listening to foreigners. See, foreigners always hit slick you with that one. I got, I know you need money. I, I, I can give you this and I can give you that, but just let me come in the door and serve and do this, and, 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 and all the profaneness will come with it. He said, "And you did not guard the charge that which is set apart to me." But you have set others to guard the charge of my set apart place for you. You see that? Our people got so lazy, brothers and sisters. Even the priests. They start setting other people to take on uh, to guard the ways of Yah, in which they will not guard the ways of Yah. Because it takes a, a certain of being who have Yah chosen, a certain heart, the mind, to guard the ways of Yah. A certain connection. And take the one of y'all chosen. See, all of y'all don't change. Your mind might change, but he don't change, brothers and sisters. It's right here. It's he but you have set others to guard the charge of my set apart place for you. Verse 9 of chapter 44 of Ezekiel. It's a death self Bariah, no son of a foreigner. Uncircumcised and hot or uncircumcised in flesh comes into my set apart place. You see that? He said, None. And this third temple that will be built. He said, None, foreigner. He said, No son of a foreigner, uncircumcised in heart or uncircumcised in flesh comes into my set apart place. Even any son of a foreigner who is among the children of Yahshat Yel Yah. You get that? This is the order of Yah. These are the things we got to know. Showing you in order this you got to examine everyone. You gotta know about everyone that come near you. You gotta know what's in their heart. Brothers and sisters, that's what I'll be showing you right there. He said, no son of a foreigner, uncircumcised in heart or flesh, comes into my set apart place, even any son of a foreigner who is among the children of Yahshua, Yahshua, Yah. Let me read 10. He said, and the, Lev the Levites who went far from me. You see that? No. And going back into the past, he was, I'll be, I'll be letting the prophet know these things to tell the people. He would, let, he would let you know right there, the Levites who went far from Yah, went off from Yah, turned from Yah. When Yahshua El Yah went astray, you see that? When the nation of Yahshua El Yah went astray, who strayed away from me, see, who turned away from Yah, why? After idols, you see that? The same thing, a lot of people fight on the internet with me over idols, images, gods, made up new idols. Elohims, a Pazel, Shemel. It's a they shall bear their crookedness. See, they sin, they wrongdoing, and which that's why we got put out of the land. They bear it, and many still walk in that same rebellious way today, not even knowing what they do. Most of you, chapter eleven. I mean, excuse me, verse eleven of forty-four of Ezekiel. And they 
and they were attended, excuse me, and they were attending in my set apart place. As gatekeepers and house attendants of the house, slaying, ascending offerings. See, slaying, uh, a slain killing, ascending offerings. Yes, the one that turned from Yahweh, slain, ascending offerings, and slaughtering for the people, and standing before them to attend to them, because they attended to them before their idols. You see that. I'll be honest, with you, because they attended to them, the people of Yah, before their idols, and became stumbling blocks of crookedness to the house of Yah, Yael, Yah. You see that? The ones that turned from Yah, even though um, they had foreigners doing these things. They were uncircumcised eyes and heart and flesh. It said crookedness to the house of Yah. It said they caused, they became a stumbling block. See, these acts became a stumbling block. A crookedness to the house of Yahshayel Yah. Therefore, I have lifted my hands in an oath against them, declares Barah Yah. See, the created Yah, that they shall bear their crookedness. See, they wrongdoing, they sins. These are the things we got to know, brother. What took place with our people in the past and what they've done against Yah. So let me continue. I'm just going to cover chapter 44 in this lesson today. I don't want to make it too long to be time to meditate on these words. Verse 13 reads, And not come near to me to serve my priest. Let me go back up and read. Uh, Y'all say, I have lifted up my hands, my hands in, in an oath against them, declared Barah, Yah, that they shall bear their crookedness. And not come near me to serve as my priest. You see that what all y'all said? The one that did they said they should not come near to me as my priest, nor come near any that which is set apart to me. See, this is what the sinners that, that got laid down on the priest that did these things. Of all the ones that did these things that was of the seed, and the one that is born today of the seed of them would not. Be part of this function, but if I, but all y'all said only the priests from the sons of say dope say dope will be able to come near to y'all. But we we'll read up, we we'll get into all that. Don't the sons that come now will be priests, but they have a limited function. See, because of your ancestors, sins, brothers and sisters. Y'all made an oath to this, and that's what I'm reading to you now. Read here. So it will be a, a, a select for the seed of, of the Levites of Zadok. See, will be able to come near to y'all to minister. But the other ones will have limited functions. So read here. See, all of these things we got to know. Is it not come near me to serve as my priest, nor come near any that which is set apart to me? See, anything that's set apart to me, certain priests would not be able to come near. Is it nor into the most set apart place? See, so certain priests, these priests would not be able to come into the certain part place on a, in the third temple, and they shall bear their shame and their abomination which they have done. You see that? Verse 14 reads, it says, Yet I shall make them those who guard the duty of the house. See? See, he's going to make certain priests God. See, you're going to have God duty. That would be your function. It says, Yet I shall make them those who guard the duty of the house for all it work, for all that has to be done in it. See? You will be governing over that. All the work that need to be done in the in the house, certain work cleaning, and all all the certain priests will be guarded over that. Verse fifteen. It said, "But the priest, see, Ray is, is very important. See, brothers, we got to know all of this in detail. A lot of brothers going off and just shooting anything out their mouth. I'm, 
I got to tell you this because that's what I see and I hear. Everything about y'all is detailed. We all, that's why we got to unite, rally, unite, and come together. All of this got to be set in order. And we got to go over this over and over to each one know of all the brotherhood. Even before we get back home into the land, brothers, we got to know the orders of y'all. A lot of brothers think uh, 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 the Levite priesthood is set up now, but it's not. You don't have, they don't even know this knowledge right here, or they reject this knowledge right here. So right here, brothers and sisters, the only thing I know at this time, the seed of the Levites are in the earth. Yes, that's a fact. But you got to have order. You got to understand your position. Because one, we got to find out who are the sons of Zadok, of the, little, little, the, the, uh, the Levites. Because they got to know their order, apart from all the other priests of the Levites. So right here, brothers and sisters, verse 15, it says, But the priests, the Levites, the sons of Zadok, who God, who God it, the duty of the set apart place when the children of Yahshua y'all went astray from me. See, 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 he said, when the children, uh, but only the, the priests right here of Zedot, they kept their place. They did not um, get out of order when the children of Yahshua y'all went astray. They held firm. So right here, it said, he said, the priests of the Levites, the sons of Zadok, who guarded the duty of my set apart place when the children of Yahshua went astray from me, they should draw near to me.